Silversity is pure competency related software and digital developers. So we develop technologies talaga na pang creation talaga ng people or the highest form of learning is visual. Eh? What you can really see can really create a very big impact on education and training. So we eventually built Silversity out of pure vision. Eh? When I was a teacher, facilitator and a trainer, uh, galing po ako sa University of Cebu. I was a former student of my CEO and colleague, Ephraim de la Serna, in the maritime. What we saw at that time is yung maritime education is lacking talaga sa technology. So, in our vision, we see that virtual reality is the key to better technology na to provide the tools for the maritime students to learn effectively. It will really revolutionize the way education should be given. It paves an immersive learning method. So it creates a facilitation of learning way faster as per 3M. Nga. They said that it's visual learning is 300 times faster than actually reading a book. That's the time uh, we want to help the maritime education by incorporating visual learning through virtual reality. We have a team that we are and each one of us has a job that we do. And then specifically, if you are assigned to us, we assign the people to us depending on the strength of them. So that they are assigned to us to have an product and they want to do it. It's hard for us because we don't have a lot of maritime persons. So we are doing it, we are learning the equipment, the machinery and then Nag-aaral namin to the point na every detail, small detail, uh, kailangan ma-deliver namin na maayos. At first, mahirap talaga pag-build ng VR, especially since it's a new technology, it's hindi pa ganun siya ka-consumer-based before. But right now, virtual reality is becoming more popular for hobbyists and developers. At first, development ng VR is mahirap uh, when it comes to software development kits. Siyempre, hindi naman siya may mga maritime person, so we need to adjust our needs and support our needs. It's hard to support our passion, but that's it. We have partners that help us to help us to deliver our needs and products. One of the greatest demands of the new fleet of the maritime industry is the ME engine, which is in compliance with the 2020 regulations or MARPOL, or they call it the Annex 6. What we really did is to create a virtual environment of components. Like the MA engine is the way of the future for transporting goods and it needs very competency fares to operate this massive equipment. In every training, safety is the utmost priority. With the use of latest virtual reality technology, the trainee can fully immerse the familiarization of components, understand the process flow, and can simulate actual overhaul of each parts of the ME control engine. Through this gamified approach to learning, the retention is very high and done in the safest manner. We have also created the labeling of the parts where they can really familiarize with that one and are working with a multiplayer system where they can really communicate. The type of training that uh, Revdra uses is, we call it a gamified training. So with this gamified the level of interest of the trainee becomes high because the interest increases. And with this, the uh, retention of learning is very high as well. With the latest technology of uh, virtual reality, Revtra uses this kind of development to immerse in uh, overhauling, maintenance, and familiarization of the component. Uh, we created a virtual platform where students can one, familiarize the components of the engine room, of the changes on the ME engine, two, compensate the Kongsberg visual walkthrough, three is we let them, we created exploded views of these components so they can really understand fluid dynamics of how the flow really works. Dito po sa Revtra, nakita ko po yung future ng training center. Ito na po yung Palagay ko, ahead, 10 years ahead. The best, the best experience. And uh, parang makatotohanan na nakikita ko yung barat ko. Saka nagkakaroon ako ng idea kasi hindi pa ako nakasampa. Parang alam ko na yung gagawin. 
You don't have to buy the actual material, the actual machinery. Spend a lot para makapagbiyak lang ng, for example, meaning gin, you need to cut it down. So I can see that to have the edge here sa simulation. Of course, with the help of University and PCI, we have the VR system. So napakalaking tulong sa trainees or students in case of visualizing kung ano yung diniscuss ko. Yung kung ano man ng mga bagay or auxiliaries, machineries na nakikita ko sa engine control room on board, nakikita ko po sa virtual reality. Sa virtual, anything can happen. Kahit sila mismo, kaya nilang alamin na ah, dito pala yan. Hindi na kailangan nga actually turo. Once na nandun na sila, they can explore it by themselves. Na wala silang matatouch na kahit na ano, walang masisira na kahit ano. If ever maliman ang procedure nila during a simulation for overhaul, walang masisira. Kaya niyang i-redo. Hanggang sa makatama, makorekt niya yung magawa niya yung correct procedure. So that's the essence of your future. That's why I think this is game changing. Using Kongsberg's Neptune system, we created this automated assessment program or a set of scenarios to really, to really look into the ME's software and capture every student's ability using Boolean logics. So the current system, together with diversity, can really create or encompass true competency.